Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, today I just wanted to talk about how overrated Draymond Green is, all right? This man is one of the most overrated players of this last generation, of this generation, pretty much. There has been people calling him not only a superstar, but there's fans that'll go as far as to say he's this modern-day Charles Barkley or, or he's a Hall of Famer. How? How in, in in what world is Draymond Green a Hall of Famer? Like, like do you do y'all not watch this dude play? He's a fucking bum. This man was a role player on a championship team. He listen. He was a fourth best player on uh, the Golden State Warriors. It, it, you had uh, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson. He was the fourth best player on those championship teams. And he, this dude wants to act like he's a a fucking like like he's all that. Like he's a superstar when he's this dude is a role player, man. For the longest, he's been acting like he's big shit, like he deserves to be in the you know the upper echelon of NBA players, and quite frankly, man, I'm just I'm just so tired of people acting like this dude is so good when he's not. Teams leave him wide open because they know that he's not an offensive threat. He's not a real offensive threat. He is so. If you watch the Warriors play, he is so trash scoring the ball he he does not have he's never had really that good of a scoring ability as it is and um if you've seen if you watched the nba finals last year he played like trash then uh, i remember the finals before that the 2018 finals he played like trash he's just he's never had really you know a, a, a good offensive skill set and he's never been able to score the ball at will so people calling him a hall of famer I mean, what is he? What is he a Hall of Famer for? For his defense that he plays, he doesn't even play great defense anymore. Like he used to play great defense, I think in the um, in the 2015 and 2016 uh, seasons he played great defense, but he never really had a a, a nice offensive skills. He never could score the ball, you know, real good. I don't, I don't think he was ever as good of a passer as people were saying he was. And now you're seeing it firsthand now. He's the best. Well, well, he not he wasn't the best player on the scene for a good portion of the season. D'Angelo Russell was actually, but now I guess you could say he's sort of the main guy. Like, like he's on the team with a bunch of you know young players with a bunch of uh, rookies and whatnot. So they're looking at him to make the plays, and now you're seeing firsthand what happens when Draymond Green leaves the team. The ceiling for that team is twenty wins. Twenty wins. That's that's your superstar right there. That's your, uh, that's your, uh, your Hall of Famer right there. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's a joke that this man has been to three All Star games. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have even been to one, in my opinion. Wait, no, you know, I, I'll give him, I'll give him the 2015-16 uh, season when he was getting the, all those triple doubles. I'll give him that season, but the two seasons after that, no way in hell should he have been an All Star, especially that third season. That third season, he was, he was so butt. <laughs> he was so ass that season. They still, you know, they had to get all four Warriors in there. So that's what I guess they put him in that year. Um, if you were to rank Draymond Green out of all the players in the league, where would you rank him at? Honestly, it, it's, would you say that he's better, that he's higher ranked than someone like a Bradley Bill? Or would you say he's, Ranked higher than somebody like a D'Angelo Russell or, or Chris Paul or just, you know, just, just just any you know, a player who's like borderline superstar pretty much. Would you would you rank him ahead of them? Cause I wouldn't. I I would rank Draymond Green, near probably around the top fifty, top forty. Even even that I I don't know. I don't even know that because he, he's just. He is so bad offensively, and he's just a, he's just an overall bad player now. He just like I said, he he doesn't play. Um, he's not that real. He's not that good of a defender anymore. So, uh, is he a top? Is he even a top fifty player? I mean, that's debatable right there. Oh yeah, and another thing, Warriors fans they took this man's side over Kevin Durant. Do y'all remember the whole beef? They were having him and Ke uh, Kevin Durant were having last season. Yeah, Warriors fans took Draymond Green's side over arguably the best player in the world. 
just because he's Draymond Green's been loyal and he's been on the team uh, a lot longer than Kevin Durant. They took his side just because you know he was he he's pretty much the uh, the enforcer of the team pretty much, and uh, he's he's pretty much the heart and soul of Golden State. So th that's why they took his side, even though Kevin Durant is like ten times the player Draymond Green is. And now you see Kevin Durant done left, and now they're left with Draymond Green, and he ain't doing shit for them. He's leading them to the number one draft pick. This man is trash. Don't y'all ever come up here and say this man is a superstar or a fucking Hall of Famer again. Fuck out of here.